Well, Kelly Barris, here we are, Mornington Peninsula, but we're in Palm Cove in Queensland at IMM. So I love the Mornington Peninsula. I was there recently, and it's wine, it's golf, it's food. I had no idea. So yes. tell me, what's hot, what's new, what's exciting in the Mornington Peninsula? Certainly. So as you mentioned, it's wine, it's food, it's it's amazing um, golfing experiences, nature-based activities as well. Um, some new activities that we do have, uh, we're actually promoting our program called Wine Food Farm Gate. Oh, nice, good. So, which is all about the wine, yeah. the food, and now the farm gates of the Mornington Peninsula. Okay. So, what we're offering there, um, obviously, is the produce that makes up the destination, yeah. matched with the amazing chefs and food yeah. and um, artisans that are creating all of these amazing food produce. Mm. And then, of course, our wine, which is predominantly Pinot Noir. Yep. Um, but I obviously, love the Pinot Noir there. yes, <laughs> it's a it's a great light red drinking wine. But obviously, we've got um, the Chardonnays, the Pinot Gris, and Grigios yeah. as well because of our maritime climate. Okay. So the Wine Food Farm Gate is like an overall campaign that we're running. Okay, but the other activities that we do have in the region, um, we've got a great new product called Green Olive at Red Hill. Fits in with that Wine Food Farm Gate activity, and they're doing like a farm to fork sort of uh, okay. program there where you can go farm to fork now I've not heard that to one fork. before yeah. that's good I like that so you can meet Greg and Sue yeah. O'Donoghue they're a lovely couple who quit the rat race yeah. part of the corporate world decided to set up their own farm and they're now doing um, they've got chooks on site they've got the dogs that yeah. go and round up the chooks they've got sheep they've got all this amazing produce growing yeah. in the gardens they bake their own bread they roast their own coffee they make sausages on site as well so it's that real immersion into yeah. that whole food experience on the Hurtley. Okay so we've got some amazing adventure activities yep. one of which is tree surfing. Are you serious? Tree surfing? Tree surfing. Yeah. So no you're not going to get on a surfboard yeah. and, and go zooming through the trees. Yeah. You're actually harnessed up. Yeah. You go up onto five different levels through the trees. It's like an obstacle course. Wow. Um, so you're completely harnessed in and they operate what's called a continuous ballet system, yeah. which is completely safe. Oh, right. And once yeah, you're on, yeah. you're on. I've got it, yeah. Yes. So, which so you're I just, clipped on, you're, you're safe. Clipped yeah. on, you're safe, yeah. completely safe, and you're actually navigating your way through all of these yeah. different obstacle courses up in the trees. Yeah. Um, I found it to be, when I did it, probably one of the most terrifying, yeah. but the most exhilarating things I had ever done. Wow. It was this amazing sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Once I got to the end of every zip line, it it was you know, the first time it was I can't do this. The second time was <laughs> I'm on do this. More. <laughs> I am so on this. It was yeah. fantastic. Can I go again? Yeah. 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 And that's part of um, the Enchanted Adventure Garden. Yeah. So they also have mazes, gardens, tube sliding, okay. which is like dry tobogganing. Yeah. So like dry run tobogganing down the the slopes. Great for kids. Yes. But also you know great for big kids as well that want to have have a bit of fun. So it's um you know just sort of showing that adventurous side of the Mornington Peninsula as well. So tell me, no, in terms of your markets, obviously Melbourne's on your doorstep or you're on Melbourne's doorstep. Yes. So a lot of day visitors, but you're yes. working hard to attract people to stay, obviously and stay in the hotels and the Definitely. and stuff. So yeah. where do these people come from? Well, predominantly, um, as you mentioned, Melbourne, yeah. but also a very big UK market, wow. UK Europe market come okay. into the peninsula. Um, also Southeast Asia, yeah. um, they're a really big self-drive market oh, as well okay. for us. Yeah. The Kiwis yeah. are coming as well, so New Zealand are coming in, North America, um, and we're emerging with China and India as well into our region. So I guess because of our diverse nature, because the region is yeah. so diverse, the offerings that we have, you know, you could be horse riding on the ocean beaches, yeah. or you can be horse riding up through the vineyards on a horseback winery tour. Yeah. You can go swimming, or you can go surfing, yeah. or you can be relaxed, you can go to the uh, Peninsula Hot Springs, yeah. which is a natural geothermal heated hot spring yeah. as well. So I guess the idea is that we do appeal to all different markets as well, so all different ages, um, 
you can go as hard as you want or as soft as you want on the peninsula, which is so, really good. So where can people get more information about um, about the Mornington Peninsula? Yes, well, we do have a website, a fantastic website called visitmorningtonpeninsula.org, mm -hmm. but they can also um, get in contact with our visitor information centre yep. as well. Um, we do have two accredited visitor centres, um, but the website is probably it's the, the best, best entry for that because we do have on our website an amazing thing called Trip Planner. Oh, okay. Tell me more. Yeah, so yeah. Trip Planner, yeah. you wander through the website and you go through and you choose all the IT, itinerary activities that yeah. you want to do. And there's a little suitcase at the bottom of every product on yeah. our website. And all you need to do is click on the suitcase and the, the suitcase more or less flies up into the top of the website and creates your itinerary. Brilliant. That's so good. Yeah. Then once you go into Trip Planner, you uh, can then choose to map it out. So it creates the map for yeah. you. It puts it in a logical order yeah. so you know that you're traveling in the right direction okay. as well. Um, and you can print it off before you go. Good, good. So and can you access it from a tablet or whatever as you're moving yes, around? Yeah, really? so the website itself is fully responsive. Yeah. So our website will operate on your phone, on yeah. your tablet, on your normal PC. Yeah. So you can more or less take the website with you as you travel. Yeah. Well, Kelly, thank you for your time today. I really enjoyed Pleasure. having a chat with you. And good luck today as I am. And I'm thank sure you're you. going to meet lots of exciting journalists as well. Most definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Parkland areas, lots of great adventure activities as okay. well. What sort of things? 